Today's video is sponsored by Adobe Express and I want to show you five hidden features inside of Adobe Express that are going to change them, level up the way you are using it. Let's dive in and take a look. Now the first feature I want to show you is how you can fade from black or white into a transparent colour. Now there's a way to do this really quickly or you might be doing it but I want to show you a better way and that is if you come over to the media area and you search for fade to black. Now you might get something that looks like one of these gradients and you'll then come over to the opacity and you can then do the multiply or screen depending on whether you want to fade to black or fade to white. Now the thing is with this option is if I zoom in here you can see it's got a lot of lines here because the quality of the fading isn't really there so what we're going to do is we're going to delete that I'm going to zoom back out we're going to delete that and then we're going to come down to our add-ons and under our add-ons we've got this option called gradients. Now you do also have text gradients under here and these are some of the features that I use on a regular basis. We're gonna click on gradients and under gradients, we've got these different options. You've got diagonal options, vertical, horizontals. You've also got radial and also conical options in here. Now we're just gonna click on linear and we're gonna click on the vertical option. Now it doesn't matter whether you choose the vertical or the horizontal option because you can always rotate it by 90 degrees if you want to. Now the starting color, we want that to be white. So that's gonna be all the Fs. And the ending color, we want that to be black. So that's gonna be all the zeros. Now, when we select the page, you'll see that when we change the opacity on this to multiply, it's a much smoother gradient. And you can then choose to do things like this, where you can add in some white text over a black gradient, or you can swap it around and do it the other way around. So you could, if you wanted to change this gradient to be the opacity, change it to screen, spin it round and you can see now when you click on the meet the team and you want to change that to the black text you can see now that you can add black text on a white fading to transparency gradient inside of Adobe Express and you can see there now when I zoom right in you can't actually see any of the lines in there. Number two that I want to show you is the TikTok Symphony Assist. Now this is an actual way that you can link Adobe Express to your TikTok account and actually grab trending audios and add those to your videos. So in this example here, let's say we've got a trending video that we've got here. We want to edit the timeline on this. And we, let's say we wanted to add some music to this. If we click on the TikTok Symphony Assist, and we can see here we've got image to video, we've got insights on all sorts of things here. Down the bottom here, you can also find TikTok music. Click on this, and I can't play this because this is on YouTube, so I don't want to get stuck for copywriting but if you click on play you can actually preview the music once you're happy with the music that you want you can actually then add that to your timeline and that's going to add the music on there to the timeline that's got your tiktok music and then you can just use the scheduler inside of adobe express to schedule this out to your TikTok. Now another really cool and fun feature to play with in the TikTok Symphony Assist inside of Adobe Express is the image to video. So I've got this image here, you can see this is just a single, single JPEG image and what I went to was the image to video and asked it to animate the skeleton and this is what it came up with. And I think you'll find that that animation there was really fun and easy to actually use. Now, the next thing I wanna show you is the image splitter option inside of Adobe Express. I have done a full video on this. It's really good for Instagram seamless carousels, but let's dive in and take a look at what this looks like. So let's say we've got our full carousel that we've designed. You can see here, this is actually seven slides wide and it's the 1440 high. So we've got that inside of here. This is what we've got. Now, in order to split this up, we're gonna come over again to the add-ons area and under your add-ons, there's this one that I've got or that I've been using called Image Splitter. If you don't see it under Discover, you can just search for it. But you can see here at the moment, it's under Discover. 
click on this, click open. Now you've got a couple of options here. You can either upload a design that you've got externally if you wanted to split that up. Let's say you are a photographer and you wanted to split that up, uh, image up and add that to the page. You could upload that from an external source. However, we're gonna choose to export the design. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to take the page that we're on and split it up. So we're going to click export design. Now, the number of rows we want, we just want one row. And this particular one is seven columns long. Click on image splitter and that's it. It's done. It split the images up and you can see down here what I've actually got is each individual page. Now, I've had to add in blank pages and then you just click add to design so you can see it on this one if I click add to design it's going to add that on there you can see it's added that as a second image now I do have a full tutorial on how to use the image splitter for Instagram carousels I'll link that up here for you and also at the end of the video so you don't have to worry about whether you can find it or not I'll link it at the end of the video for you and also down in the description now hidden feature I think number four is the video background remover now we're all aware that we can remove the background of a static image but did you know that you can actually remove the background on a video also let's dive in and take a look here i've just added uh, some stock footage of this lady running on the spot and i think you'll agree that you know it's quite complex she's got some hair bobbing around in there her legs and arms are moving around and all we do is when we click on the actual video you can see up here we've got remove background now also a good one on here if you're editing your reels or your short form videos you've also got enhanced speech which works amazingly and i have done a video on this before i've got a short that i've used and shown this one on there for you but that's got enhanced speech so it'll remove things like wind noises and any kind of like background echoey noises and really enhance the audio and honestly that works really well anyway we're here to talk about the background remover on the video now I clicked when you when you click on that it'll go away and it'll think about things for a few moments and then this is the results of that one and I think this is a really good version of this you know obviously it's kind of like not going to go too detailed in on the hair but for me it still captures the hair that's kind of like bobbing around and also this person here that's doing a yoga pose you can really clearly see all the kind of like round the outside of the outline and it works just like the image background remover now tip number five is a really simple one it's kind of like a little bit of a keyboard shortcut so it's about rotating your images in equal increments now i've got a really fun image here of this cat just chilling by the pool with his little drink yes it's ai generated but if we hold down the shift key on this one here you can see it'll actually rotate by 15 degrees increments. So you can see there, each time I literally rotate, it will rotate by 15 degrees. Now, another tip, if you are rotating, the further away you get from the actual image, so let's say we click here, and the further you can see, sometimes like trying to get the image to line up correctly is a little bit harder. If we actually keep our mouse held down, and move her further away, you can see that actually remove or moving this by one degree, but I'm not holding anything down. It's just the further away I am from the image, it makes it easier to rotate those images by one degree and be more precise when rotating images in a design. If you've got any tips that you would like to share with us, drop those down in the comments. Maybe I'll include them in a future video, but until next time, thank you very much and bye for now.